He's a pigskin action. <laughs> so we need to talk high school. We need to talk a little collegiate football. Larry Kotler back in with us Ooh. once again. Good morning. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, good to see everybody. Exactly. You know, the thing is, we just had Saydell in. Yeah. But I got a clip I want to show you. This is a very special play. Andrew Smith was one of the kids that we interviewed, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Well, I want you to watch this play. Okay. Watch this catch. We pass. Whoa! Oh, you see a, the catch? That was a Beckham catch. Are you sure that wasn't yes. Beckham? Look at that. Whoa! What hand! That was hand. amazing. Nice grab. Pretty see that catch, huh? The, okay, I, we're wondering because I whipped the football at them and, and they both oh, caught oh, it. It's a replay. Over and then afterwards, the coach goes, you used two hands. And I didn't quite understand what he meant by that. That's yeah. what he meant by that. Well, That's maybe impressive. they'll have some more of those tonight against Norwalk. And that could be interesting if they end mm -hmm. up uh, pulling off the, the win here. That's going to yeah. be huge for us. It would Seattle. be very huge yeah. for them. And then you got Des Moines Christian, a team we uh, had yesterday. Mm -hmm. And they're taking on Madrid tonight. They're going to be at home, though, which is different than going to the jungle. Right. But, but And again, a win against Madrid. That would be huge for Absolutely. them as well. Absolutely. Some other big games. Dowling Catholic is coming off its win over Valley. Going up to Lewis Central. Actually, I'm going up to broadcast. Oh, are game. you really? So, yeah. Okay. And uh, Lewis Central is 3-1. Dowling, of course, is undefeated. 3-0. and Their first game was rained out up in Cedar Rapids. Mm -hmm. So they're going to try to keep that momentum. And hopefully there won't be for them, you know, any kind of, what do they call it, uh, uh, they lull in the action, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Any, any kind of complacency, yeah. Exactly, you know, because but that's no, that tough game, you, might, you mentioned yeah. the, the football game that was rained out. Now, mm -hmm. they're not making that one up, is no, that right? No, I don't believe so. Yeah, that's just gone. The game is yep. gone. And these are the first of a district game. So these are the ones that really start counting mm -hmm. toward the playoff activity. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, so we'll then see you, what happens. And then you've got some of the other games tonight. Ankeny is at Ames. That ought to be a good one because Ankeny is playing really well right now. And Ames is always tough up in Ames. Look at some of the other games tonight. Uh, Carlisle's at Ballard. A couple of records, a uh, couple of teams with mm -hmm. two and two records. Uh, Marshall Towns at Waukee tonight. Waukee, I think we're going to see next week. They don't know it yet. But <laughs> <laughs> they'll find out later today. That you get to wake in. up early. And then, and then I-35 at Van Meter. You know, Van Meter's been a power the last few years, and I-35 comes with a record of three and one. So, all right, good game there too. Then, yeah, so, all, all good, a lot games, of good games. Sounds like a lot of good games. All right, so again, high school action—that's a big thing here yes. in the state of Iowa. That's Friday night activities. Yes, and I don't think there's no rain, right? But we're not going to do monsoons. Nope. It nope. sounds should like should it's going to be, be kind of a nice night. This, you know, night. this is on you, man. Great football night. I'm just an umpire, man. I'm there. I'm the line judge. I don't. I don't ever throw. I'm, I'm not the quarterback. I don't pitch the game there. There you so. go. You're the messenger, right? That's right. That's you just are me. the messenger. Now we're going to talk some college. All right. Talking about right. collegiately. First of all, Iowa State. I, I was pretty funny. I sent a text message over to Coach Rhodes yesterday, and um, we were communicating. And I said, "Well, enjoy your weekend." And then quotes I put off. <laughs> and he wrote back, ha. <laughs> so it's, he, he might not be playing a game, but he's right. not off this week. They're never off. They're, they're never off. Preparing. Yeah. Although he might sit and watch a game or two. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean they're working all through the weekend. But then again, they are working all through the yes, weekend. Yes, they you got to get ready for camp. But who's playing games? Well, Iowa's playing games. Iowa's 3-0. Uh, and oh, And this is a team that's getting better and better yeah. each week. They had a good win over Pittsburgh last week. Mm -hmm. And now they're taking on... The uh, fighting Dan McCarney's. That's a, see, I, I refer to him as well because instead of saying North Texas, people go, "Who? What, what team is that?" You say Dan McCarney's team, and all of a sudden the interest level just jumps yep. skyrocket. They have a quarterback who, by the way, had his best game last week, threw for three, threw for over 300 yards. That's easy for me to say. He's from the Iowa City area, Andrew McNulty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But they're struggling. They're 0-2 right now. They had a bunch of turnovers and a loss to Rice last week. I mean, that's the thing that Mac, and we know Mac very well, the first thing he focuses on is turnover margin. That's the number one thing, and they were like minus four in the Ooh, turnover margin last ouch, week. Not good. So that's not a good thing. That's like, you know, the coach before from St. Louis saying, you got to hang on to the football. Right. So Iowa really should win this game handily, in my opinion. I mean, Iowa, to me, is a much better team, but then again, you got to play them. When, when I want, here's what I want to hear when they introduce the team and mm -hmm. when Dan walks on the field. I have a funny feeling that the, the Hawkeye, the crowd is going to give him a, a huge round of applause. Oh, they like him. They like they They've like McCarty, yeah, because he obviously he coached there for a long time. Well, he's an Iowa City kid. Yeah, I mean, he's from Iowa City, a, yeah. yeah, the kid, his, his dad was the police chief. Mm -hmm. That's never a bad thing. Right. Every dad is the police chief. And, you know, but again, this is a team that gets better and better. Beathard is playing so well. The defense is playing well, making plays when they have to play. And, you know, they've got to get ready. If they can get out of this one, they're 4-0 going into the conference season against Wisconsin. That's a good thing. So one would favor them. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Iowa State's off. They're not playing. Uh, Drake's playing. Who are they playing? They've got the Hatters. Stetson. 
The Stetson Hatters. Hmm. No, they're not. Yes, going. they are. Are they really? They are the Hatters. Oh, come on. They absolutely are the Hatters. That's right. Uh, the Drake Bulldog will lift its leg on the Hatter. <laughs> okay. the well, they're trying to bounce back. They had a tough loss last week, 52 to nothing in South Dakota. Ooh. But I think that's one you just kind of, let's see, if I, if I had a piece of paper, you just take it, throw it in the trash, and okay. just forget about that game, learn a little bit, move on to the next one. One o'clock over Drake's team. Actually, I'm doing that game on 1350. You're a big, busy guy. I uh, know. Yeah, and, yeah. and speaking of 1350. Yeah. Let's uh, tell a new radio show coming up. Tell everybody about the new radio yeah, show. Yeah, going to start. Remember the old Kotler and Company show? Yes, I do. We're going to have the new Kotler and Company show. Going to feature <laughs> interviews. New company. Well, I, I couldn't think of anything Boy, else creative. Boy, it took you a long time to think up that name, didn't you, uh, Cop Man? Yeah, well, I couldn't think of any more creative names yeah. to come up with anymore. I've got so many shows, I can't keep track of them all. So we're going to do this one starting uh, next Thursday. It'll be Thursday nights from 6 to 7 on that 1350 so cool. ESPN. Well, good that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. So looking good forward job. to that. Now, uh, another thing that's very dear and passionate yes. to your heart is the Lupus uh, Foundation. And you brought in some wonderful treats for us this morning. We really appreciate that yep. uh, with a big walk. Uh, that's exactly. coming up. Yeah, I decided to wear the T-shirt this morning. You okay, and out. the walk is and coming you look up. Fantastic. There tomorrow, is. right? Yes, it's coming up tomorrow it is morning, tomorrow. 9 a.m. at Jordan Creek. For those who don't know, there are a million and a half Americans and about 15,000 Iowans who are afflicted with lupus each year, which affects your nervous system. What it does is it it uh, it, it damages your immune system, and. You, everybody can have lupus and not know it. That's the thing about it. And people that have other immune type uh, diseases associated with themselves, they have a tendency of getting it as well. Now, you have some personal experience with this. Correct? Yes, my father passed away uh, when I was four and a half. He had lupus. Mm -hmm. uh, you have some. And then and yeah. Kathy, my wife, yeah. she was just diagnosed with lupus mm -hmm. about a week ago. Week my sister has lupus. Really? See, really? There, so it yeah. does touch a touches lot of people. A lot of people. A lot, it it touches a lot of people. So uh, the walk the walk is, is tomorrow morning, tomorrow. 9 a.m. People can just sign up on the spot if you just want to come out and obviously donate as well. They're going to have a carnival, going to have a raffle. We have a sports package that uh, we're auctioning away thanks to all the great teams around this area. So uh, it's going to be fun tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Weather should be good, right? I think It should be a beautiful day. Well, yeah. All right. So we hope people come out. Jordan Creek, it's right up toward the front, you know, by P.F. Chang's and where the, sure. uh, the lake oh, okay. is and everything. So like literally the mall. Right. Okay. It'll be up there. So okay. just come on out tomorrow. and. Uh, so you're going to be a busy guy, Cop, man. So you're doing, you're doing the one game tonight. Now, which game are you doing tonight? Dowling Catholic, Lewis Central. Okay. And, and then that, tomorrow I've got the walk. Then I've got the Drake game. All right. And then on Sunday you regroup. Uh, and then we go see Thomas the Tank Engine again. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We're going up to Boone to see like Thomas the Tank Engine. Sounds like a great weekend. Yeah, he's there. The, I saw oh. pictures on social media. He's ready to go. Yep. It's on the, Monday we rest. There you go. <laughs> and then he rests. Perfect. Well, wonderful. Okay, we all caught up? We're all caught up? All right. Well, we've got, we got to mention Grandview. they got oh, yes. Missouri Valley tomorrow. Missouri Valley University at noon over at uh, Williams Stadium. Okay. All right. But they're coming off a 77-7 win, so they're, they're a juggernaut. <laughs> they're, they're, forget about them. That they're one's good. good. They're Go good. out there and support them, but they're going to they're win again. They're good. Wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. Good job, my friend. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Be good. All right, we'll be back.